guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 6 of Wonder Egg Priority. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I need to turn you up and put you down. There you go. Yay. Okay. What the hell happened today? Oh, she cute. Oh. Oh, he fell. Sad day. Oh, okay. At least we're getting something new. Of course. That that's just like trolls, honestly. Seriously? Uh. Yeah, can't we call someone else for backup though? Like, I, I mean, any one of the rest of the girls? Momo? Rika? Took them six episodes to name the show, but okay. Uh, what a pleasure. It is freaking hot today, but. Punch drunk to okay. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, don't you want something that you love? Is it a special day? Mm. 
Okay. Poor baby. I get that she doesn't want to talk to him, but this could be your only time, her only fucking time to ask anything that she wants to ask <clears throat> leading up to her friend's death, you know? <laughs> hmm? I mean, that's kind of weird because she's never done that before. Uh, uh, I. Yeah, you know, Momo, your uncle happened. Yeah. What well, damn I? Uh. Yeah, explain a little bit more about them, please. is still basically trolls. Hmm? Did you bring one with you? Oh, okay. Basically. We looking at you, Rika. Don't lose it. <laughs> Necklaces? I like the moon-shaped one. And the heart-looking one with an arrow. Or... I know! Oh, of course you would get that one. They're pretty. Okay, makes the most sense. What if it's like a just a little pet, almost like you know, um, like a, a noise from the world ends with you? Like, wait, okay, if, if you haven't played that game, you know, the situation will rhyme and be in ish, yeah. I ain't gonna go too too spoiler heavy on that, but yeah. Hmm? Yeah, you might as well talk to your friends about this, babe. They got time. <laughs> oh. You know, it'd be really nice for merch wise. They sell these like cute little pendants. <gasps> ah! A turtle? A frog? Uh, no, an alligator. And a lit and an iguana? They're cute though! Why didn't we have this at the beginning of the episode? Yeah. 
Oh, so you're like, yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. Of course, is what else is that going to overflow with? Hmm? Oh! The fu okay, of course the boss would be invisible as fuck. Oh, oh my god, how are you supposed to defeat that? He still creeps me out, though. He cute, but he creeped me the fuck out. Please tell me y'all not getting together. The fuck? If you have something to say, I please, honey bunny, say it. Only Mama would be happy about that, but it's cute, though. But I, in a way, it is your business. This is going to be a way that you're going to be looking at your teacher. Do you not want someone else to take the replacement of your father? I, I mean, I get that. That's kind of the same thing with me. That too. But Momo, something about your uncle. I mean, as fine as he is. Like, we can talk about that for a hot minute. Something's not right about him. Yes. But then why is he continuously trying to get close to her? And that could be the big reason why I kept her trying. Exactly. I, 
I mean, yeah, Nettie, you could be right. I mean, because every girl, like, it, it's happened to most of us. We've all had a crush on our male teacher. What do you see? Nothing. But see, she needs to use yay in order to see that. Without her, she... Oh, fuck. The bracelet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, psh, I 100% think that shit. Come on now. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, damn. Mm hmm. I mean, it's an interesting looking vase. It's cute. I mean, hey. Now, let's hope and pray, <laughs> you know, that these cute little things... Oh. As I was saying, let's hope and pray these things, these cute little adorable things are not like our soul gems from a certain cute adorable show that's slowly going to kill them, you know. We, we don't need that. I ain't going to cry over these girls again. Dependent, right? Oh, the prayer beads. thing is is she truly gonna confront him and ask him questions oh, oh so pretty 
think those are hydrangeas, so I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go on, you can do it. Okay, something, something mm, feels a little sus because, of course, she, it, it has to be a person about the best friend again. I still don't trust Momo's n uncle as, like I said, as, as fine as he is. He could have his own, you know, plans and everything. It, it's interesting that, you know, I had a weird feeling that, of course, I's mom and her sensei would want to start dating. I mean, we we don't know if he if he likes little kids like that. You know, if he rolls that way, you a sexual predator. But like to me, and the way this show is going, signs are pointing to yes. He he's just not saying anything about it. And I'm over here like, bruh, give me that answer. I need the answer. Says so yes or no. But I'm guessing the more we get into the show, maybe we'll get our answer. But oh no. It's a yes for me. I'm sorry, but mm. the monster of the week was interesting. Honestly, I like the design of it. It might be like possibly my favorite design. It's interesting. I like the colors, the uh, hair scheme, color scheme, the way it looked. I mean, seriously, y'all could they could do hella good merchandise for this show with some of the things. I mean, the pendants that they have and that they're looking at through. So fucking cute like oh my god like uh you see y'all making me fall more and more on the show but yes like I said once again hope and pray that these pendants that they have are not like soul gems from a certain magical girl show because yeah your girl don't want anything to happen to these four girls because I'm already I'm still sus about you know the two people who they've met that I met in episode one these mannequin looking people um and then them now giving them an extra gift that, you know, they can possibly use multiple times that probably doesn't have a limit or anything. Um, but we ain't going to know until the more and more we get into the show. But who knows what the hell is going to happen next. But I feel like another reason that I is going to school is she's going to keep an eye on um, her sensei, of course, and maybe still talk to him about her best friend. Because, like I said, there had to be something between them. And with the fact that I walked in on them as she was going to ask something to either her best friend or her sensei, but, you know, backed out, you know, due to what the fuck was going on in front of her face. I mean, oof, but. Oh, whatever it is, it's coming to life. <laughs> when it does, I'm going to be over here like, hmm, I fucking called it. I don't know. I can't really call anything else right now. Like, the only thing that I called was the fact that, you know, her mom and her sensei wanted to date each other because, of course, yes, they look nice together, but it's just that shit looks like a fucking scam to me. Like, I'm sorry. You gotta call that ish out, but I'm glad she's gonna go back to school and, you know, it, it takes a while for people, especially, you know, someone like her age or anyone who's younger or the certain things that people have been through it takes them a little while and who knows I, I thought she was going to wait like a really long time until like the final episode of this show to be you know like here's my first step back into society back into my norm of being around people again and you know but 
No. She wants to do it now. She's taking it day by day, and I'm so fucking proud of her. She's so fucking adorable, and I love her so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Wonder Egg Priority. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode seven. Bye, guys.